Right, welcome peeps, or welcome for the first time, welcome back to anyone returning. Uh, today you will be joining us as we're making some dry food mix for feeding to worms as a conditioner for the worms themselves, as a protein boost as well, as a fattening agent to help your worms fatten up, and it'll also encourage your worms to start breeding as well. So you'll notice we've got some porridge oats here, nice whole oats, or close to whole oats with little to no added anything, ingredients, whole oat flakes, we've got some mixed fruit and nuts uh, from the back of the cupboard which have been expired, uh, another seed mix with some fruit as well, again expired but lots of protein in there for the worms, pumpkin seeds, Again, lots of protein, some, just some plain rice, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get each of these blended up or processed in the food processor into a nice fine meal, and once each of them has been blended, uh, I'll then join you again with the different materials and we'll talk about how we're going to blend each of the components together to form our recipe and we're back so you can see the oats just made them a little bit finer pumpkin seed and mixed seeds all just mixed nice little fine meal now the rice is particularly hard to blend or grind so don't stress yourselves if you can't get it into tiny tiny pieces just consider this to be the longer food for the worms. So these parts they'll get into nice and quick, where this will last a considerable bit longer for them to work through. Uh, but it's nice to have a bit of variety, so you've got your fast foods and your slower stuff. I will now mix these, uh, one part to one part to one part, and then I will also be adding in some rock dust, which is just to help with digestion the worms have a gizzard so they'll use the small grit of stone to help them process their food and grind it into smaller pieces as well as the extra uh, micronutrients minerals that are available in rock dust uh, just going to make your worm castings absolutely supercharged and we'll see how this all gets mixed together so we've got ourselves a nice big mixing bowl, we've got ourselves half a cup of rock dust here, so we'll chuck in that half a cup, throw in, this is about a litre and a half, I think I'm going to need myself a bigger bucket, again, about a litre and a half of oats going in there, and we got about a litre and a half of rice going in there. Now, just give this a nice good mixing up. Or well, what I might even do, because a very efficient way of mixing is to is to simply pour from one vessel into another a part mixed because when you pour you actually take a fraction off the top a fraction off the middle a fraction from the bottom and you get a nice mix happening just by pouring from one vessel to the next Couple more pours and we should be pretty much there. Looking nicely mixed now. Pretty consistent mix. Right, steady 
like that. So, and you now, you've got your dry mix ready to go. Let's see if I can get a bit of a close up for you. So you can see it is still quite a mixed grit. The, the finer you go, the faster they'll get through it. But this, as it's a dry mix, can now be stored and fed to your worms as a bit of a treat. So you won't need to feed this material to them often. Uh, actually, if you feed them too often, you can actually start causing some fermentation issues and start creating pearled worms where they have the grains start fermenting in their guts, which isn't ideal. You can lose part of your population to it. So this becomes just a nice top dress. Um, if you compare it to the last feed video where we were creating a trench, putting their dry food in, and then covering it, this stuff will just be a small handful, about this large for the tubs I'm using, and this will just get put straight on top, uh, straight on top, and then covered with cardboard, and the worms will venture up and get this material, take it down, and you'll see in a pretty short time, I reckon within a week, you'll notice that your worms have actually started to pack on a considerable amount of weight. But this is, I think, complete. Nice dry mix, ready to go, and obviously lots of it stocked up so we can keep this stored for a long time. Always ready for when we need it. Um, any thoughts, comments, any additions that people might think to add to a dry blend? Obviously, dolomite lime could be an option. Um, or gypsum, depending on uh, your requirements. I've also been known to roast eggshell, which is then crushed and then added to this as well. Uh, the eggshell is another form of grit, but it also provides some calcium and a very small amount of pH buffering in the media so it should help prevent pot worms which can happen from an acidic bin uh, besides that that's dry worm feed done so please leave your thoughts and comments down below